Hey gang, Dan here from marginallyclever.com. Uh, marginally, not from there. Uh, I'm I'm from Canada. I run a little website called marginallyclever.com, and as part of running that website, uh, that's where I talk about the robots that I make. Uh, I hope you like robots too, and you come to the right place. Uh, the purpose of today's video, yes, let's stay focused. The purpose of today's video is uh, someone on my Discord channel had a question about this gearbox. Uh, and I would like to answer it, but first, for those of you who are just joining the conversation, here's a brief recap. This gearbox is one of five or six that you can put together to make a robot arm. Right, so here's six of them put together in one configuration. Here's five of them put together in a slightly different configuration. It doesn't have, quite have the same range of motion, but it's still good for a lot of stuff. Plus, this way you have a spare. You'll notice that it's uh, it's six identical pieces. Uh, sorry, five identical pieces in this one. So there's the one here. Uh, there's the the mouth or the sorry. There's the hand. There's the various limbs and there's the base. Okay, um, but these five in the middle are identical, and then there's just the fasteners in between that that are, are fun. Okay. Um, now that was that was learned from from trying to. Trying to build previous robot arms like i have built i built i built a ton of robot arms at this point where am i looking here am i looking okay this was the last this was the previous version and this is already like my third or fourth version so if you're thinking about making a robot arm i want you to know that it is in 10 years i built four different types of arms that's how long it took me uh your mileage may vary this was the previous unit this was 1300 parts total parts in 250 types of parts okay so if you wanted to like store this as pieces for any reason you need 250 bins of different sizes for every part that's a whole wall right don't that's not going to fit in your apartment as a small business person uh also there were some wires in this design that go all the way from the wrist all the way from the wrist back into the anchor, like through the elbow, down the middle of the tube. So if you wanted to disassemble the elbow, you had to take the whole arm apart uh, from the base all the way up. It was many hours of work, not fun. So this guy, this guy uh, is designed to, to solve that problem. First off, this is maybe 300 parts in total. And it's about 30 different types of parts, probably less in each of the individual units. Okay, uh, sorry, 30, 30 types of parts in total for this whole Megillah, the whole unit. Um, the beauty of it is this repeating section, this gearbox. Okay, so you're familiar maybe with hobby servos, uh, the kind for RC planes and such. This is the big brother. When I pull up the websites, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna have to edit a, a moment there. When I pull up this website, marginallyclever.com, and I click down on here, I get the, the, the kit version of this thing. So you can see here, dynamic output, 13 Newton meters. You can't match that anywhere. It's max static output, 20 Newton meters. Uh, it is 109 full steps per degree. Okay, that is, so times 360 right and if you add 130 second micro stepping like you have on a 30 uh, 3d printer you've got three almost 3500 steps per degree the 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 accuracy of this stepping is insane um there's also a video on how to put this together because the kit only includes the metal bits and the gearbox and the motor you 3d print the box and then you put the whole thing together yourself uh, this means that my shipping is less painful because I can put it in a much smaller envelope and you already have a 3D printer or your local hack space does and they'd be happy to help you print out a unit. You know, they might even like make a kit night of it or something. Okay, so amazingly strong gearbox, easy to drive. If you've done anything with robotics and Arduino, you, you're good to go. You put six of those in a line on a, like a 3D printer board and you put Marlin software in there and you are off to the races. I have also written open source software called Robot Overlord, and Robot Overlord will give you a 3D simulation of your robot arm if you built it to spec, and then you can drive it from there, and it will it will generate the instructions 
to make your build go, right? And if you don't get that, ask me. I'll make another video and explain the whole thing. Happy to. Okay, so now this gearbox, I want to show you what's inside of it in order to show you how it works. And then it finally answered my Discord viewer's question. Uh, this box has the, the lid, the, the two lids and the core piece. That's the core, the output, and the input. Uh, I'm going to turn on the coloring, turn off the analysis. So you can see that again. That's the core in the middle, the output plate on the top, and the input plate on the bottom. The input plate has a little hole where the wires go through so that you connect to the neighboring unit. And that way there's no wires hanging out anywhere. Okay, back to our analysis. So inside here we have the stepper motor that you're familiar with from 3D printers. It's got the same, it's got one of those timing belts and it's got a little pulley, same as on the 3D printers. And then it's got this really special harmonic gearbox. Now, if you've been learning anything about robotics, you know that precision and torque are two things you need a lot of for good robots. Uh, the harmonic gearbox is better than any of the cycloidals that are out there because it has zero backlash and it has, still has amazing torque. The problem is they don't 3D print good on current generation 3D printers. They suck on FDM printers. This one was 3D printed by a little company called Rangeview in California. And this one is on an SLA printer. Okay. So um, with that, with the, they use a special sauce. I don't know what it is. I'm not privy to it. But uh, what I've done with it is uh, I put it in here, hooked it up with this motor, and I've designed a special circuit board underneath. The circuit board has a sensor. Let's hide everything in here so you can see what's going on. I'm going to isolate just the sensor plate and the PCB. So let's isolate that. And let's throw the sensor plate. Okay. So the sensor plate... The sensor plate turns over the PCB and the PCB has a special pattern of wires that get read by this chip, which then get fed into the brain chip. The brain chip you, and the, uses the clock and some of these LEDs and things to drive this motor chip, which is what connects to your motor over here. Okay. Now we've also got the USB for, for writing custom firmware on there, if that's what you want. We've got debug pins over here for, for reading what the brain is doing. And more importantly, we got these... We got this power rail that that's where the daisy chaining happens. This is the power connections and these are the data connections. So there's four wires that go in from that little hole on the outside. Remember the, the input hole back over this one right here. So they come in here, they go to there, they go to there, they go under the board, they come out this hole and they go up through the center of the gearbox and out the front face out here and into the next gearbox and that way there's no wires hanging out beautiful right i think so that's very elegant pat myself on the back thank you very much um okay so uh show all components go back to our analysis now the discord user asked and i think you already know the answer the, the, i see the one of you in the back that's holding up his hand and going ooh, ooh, ooh. why is this hole here this hole is here because the motor shaft needs to go needs room to move, but the PCB is in the way. So I cut a big asshole, and that's the, I cut a big ass hole, gotcha. Okay, and and that's that makes everybody happy together. Um, I have been spent the last year trying to make this board go. You know what, that's another subject. Come to the Discord, I'll tell you the whole sad story. You can work on this PCB with me. Um, I don't, I haven't, I'm not confident about how to turn this disc from out here there's like a little tube or something i need through here that still lets the wire go down the middle and i i have yet to make it that that's on me uh i would love to see your thoughts about how we're going to connect that um that's it that's what i got okay covered everything that name again is mr plow uh yes get all the dimensions there Go to the, you can get the Thingiverse page, right? The Thingiverse page with the, the parts. You can get it yourself. Uh, you can probably go to Range View directly and get this gearbox and then stick your own, if, you know, if you really want to figure out the whole bit. But if you want to support me as the person who designed this uh, and to help me continue designing more and better, then I would really please like you to come to my store and buy it from there. And then I have lots of these on hand and I can keep 
I can hire up the local high school students who are wanting work experience and they can start assembling these. And then before you know it, we've got a, a small army of robots. Uh, did you know that this year, half of the world's robot arms and industrial robots are now in China? North America has basically nothing. We are falling behind the curve. So young people, you need to get on this. We need these in every school in North America. Um, and if we can start with the hack spaces, that, that, that's great. That, any footing we can get to, to, to solidify my empire. Uh, I talk too much. All right. Thank you for watching. You've been great. I will see you next time.